Hi y'all, Justin at WildlineRopes.com and I'm here today to explain how to use the Solid Step Aider Aider Climbing System. So for this system, you're going to need these some daisy chains. So for each daisy chain you have, you're going to get about four or five foot. It kind of takes the place of your stick itself. And of course, you'll need the Solid Step Aider with the Ever Open Foot Loop and the Aider leash. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Aider leash off and I'm gonna attach it to my saddle and this way as we're climbing we can never lose our Aider. Alright, now that we have our Aider attached we can walk over to the tree first thing I want you to do is I want you to get your tether and I want you to put your tether on the tree. We should always use a tether and never just a lineman's belt. This system requires you to use both your tether and your lineman's belt. So we'll get this on the tree. We'll get it up there as high as we can get it. Next thing we want to do is grab our daisy chain. Pull it out of the, the bungee tabs with the sliding locker. Daisy chain has a working end. We only need to pull out as much slack as we need. Go around the tree and to have it hang down, we're gonna go in the big loop. We're just gonna bring, bring it through like that. All right, and pull it tight. Now, what I want you to do is take your aider and you can just hang the aider in any one of the daisy chain loops. But keep in mind, you need to have from your top step to this point of the daisy chain where it is wrapped around the tree, you need to have at least about 20 inches. If you don't have about 20 inches, it can, get, it can be hard to get your foot in there. You won't have enough slack to get your feet in. So we wanna go ahead and clip in to our tether and after we've clipped into our tether here we can go ahead and grab our lineman's belt as you can see I got the feather light lineman's belt right here pull it out of the bungee and we're just going to clip it in so we always want to maintain the uh, lineman's belt above our waist and we always want to maintain the minimal amount of slack in our tether so as we walk up we're going to slide our hitch to keep and maintain our slack and always keep the lineman's belt above your waist when you get to a point where you feel like you can move your tether up you can bring yourself into the tree using your lineman's belt that'll give you more stability We can move that up, make sure we keep our slack pulled tight. All right, so at this point, we're almost, we're pretty much here at the top of our step. We gotta go ahead and move this tether up, pull our slack. Let's go ahead and we're gonna, we wanna maintain, we wanna be, the more parallel or the more vertical we are, once you get to this point, we're pretty much ready. We're gonna move our tether up as high as we can reach and
now that we have our tether up here as high as we can reach, we're going to reach down. We're going to grab our next daisy chain. We'll pull the slack out of it. We're going to go right up under our tether. All right. And now this is where it's kind of like one sticking. We're going to release all the slack in our lineman's belt. You can either take your lineman's belt off or you can release the slack in it. Now all we, all we have to do, we don't even have to reach down. If we want, we can reach down and grab it. If we don't want, if we don't want to, we can just grab our bungee here. It'll slip right out of the daisy chain loop. And you need to always make sure if you got your lineman's belt on, you need to make sure you're bringing it in between. You need to make sure you're bringing your aider in between your lineman's belt and all around to the side of it. We'll clip it in and then take a step. Again, always maintain the smallest amount of slack possible. All right, so at this point, you know, I've only had only have two daisy chains for this demonstration, and I originally made this system to be repelled out of, but I'm gonna show you how to get down if you just have a tether. And to start, what you'll do is, I found it's a, a lot easier to uh, just use your tether on the way down, you don't have to use your lineman's belt uh, as long as you're not having to go around limbs and uh, knots on the tree, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna take and put slack in my lineman's belt. All right, now I'm sitting in my tether. I'm just gonna take my lineman's belt off. And on the way down, we're gonna hold the rope and we're just gonna incrementally lower it on the tree. We wanna keep, again, maintain the, the, the least amount of slack possible. Just work it down the tree. Work it down enough to take a step down. All right, so now at this point, we can take our aider out of this daisy chain and just set it back in this one, like this. And go ahead and get our foot in there. And if we don't have enough, this is where the WLR hitch comes in very handy for this system. If you don't have enough slack, you can just ease yourself down. You can break the tension. And we will take our daisy chain off. We're gonna wrap it up. We'll start with the working end. Run it around. Never crossing over it. And then take the bungee on the end and wrap that bungee around that paracord. Now it's ready to go back in our saddle. All 
All right, and again, we're just gonna keep lowering this in increments until we get down safely. Not allowing too much slack. Always maintain a good firm grip on it until you reach the bottom. And now we're really pretty much ready to take everything back off. So I'm going to go ahead and unclip and take this stuff off the tree. Obviously, this is a really quiet way to climb, especially after you've had practice. Uh, so a few cons to this system is really, really small trees can be a little bit hard, uh, more likely for your foot to kick out. Trees that might have a lot of moss or might be frozen, they might be more slick, which you always want to avoid aid or kick out. If you've ever had that happen, you know it's not very fun, which is another reason why we always use our tether and our lineman's belt. The whole system, I believe it weighs about, I think it weighs about a pound and a half, give or take, and two, uh, depending on how many daisy chains you, you uh, decide to use. Um, again, I'll show you a close up on how to store these daisy chains. You'll take your working end, which is this large eye, I'll hold it in your hand, and just wrap around like this. So you get to the end here. And then take it off your hand and use this bungee to go around. Over like that. And then it's ready for the next use. So that pretty much sums up the aider climbing system. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a direct hybrid between one sticking and you uh, setting sticks. The big end here, the eye, we'll go around. And we're gonna bring, make sure we go under the tether, we're gonna bring that through the eye. And make sure it's tight to the tree and again as high as you can reach to try to make the most out of each climb each step <clears throat> and again you can hook in anywhere you like you just need to make sure you have about 20 inches or so to be able to get your foot in and uh, that's really about all there is to the aider climbing um, method and uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, don't forget to ask, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, climb safe.